Jokes aside, let's get into the first topic for today. Discrete graphics cards from NVIDIA and AMD saw largest shipments increase since Q2 of 2018. And this is coming from WCCF Tech, if I can get my deal working there. This is posted on February 24th, 2022. Discrete graphics card shipments from AMD and NVIDIA saw the biggest increase this quarter while integrated GPUs declined. According to the latest report from John Petty Research, discrete graphics card shipments for PCs hit an impressive 13 million unit figure, marking a 3% growth sequentially and 18% increase from the previous year. At the same time, integrated GPUs saw a decline of 15% compared to last year and only saw a 0.8% sequential increase. This marks the highest shipment figure for discrete graphics cards since Q2 of 2018 when AIBs were able to ship up to 12.75 million units. So we shipped even more than Q2 of 2018. And if you remember, this is a marker. This is a straight up a marker that is similar to the previous super cycle of Bitcoin and mining and that steep decline in, of course, price for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So while... It looks good from the perspective of huge shipments coming in for GPUs. It can be a signal as well for the mining markets that we may see, of course, that bear market coming into play. It's kind of funny how it is actually following in multiple different markets here that pattern of the Bitcoin super cycle. So, are we going to be experiencing another bear market as indicated by all of the similarities to the previous super cycle? Possibly. I don't really know. Lots of new things are going on. It just is one of those kind of convenient coincidences that I noticed and I wanted to point out, right? So let's get into more of this. It says, here's the quick highlights. The GPU's overall attach rate, which includes integrated and discrete GPUs, desktop, notebook, and workstations to PCs for the quarter was 121%, down negative 3.8% from last quarter. The overall PC CPU market increased by 3.9% quarter to quarter and decreased by 21% year to year. Desktop graphics add-in boards, AIBs that use discrete GPUs, increased by 3% from the last quarter, and this quarter saw a 22% change in the tablet shipment from last quarter. This is still not the historical high of 16.1 million units of discrete graphics cards that shipped back in Q3 of 2017 and Q1 2018, but it marks a return to normalcy after shipments declined to their lowest point of just 7.4 million units in Q2 of 2019. Discrete graphics card shipments have been averaging around 9 to 10 million units for the last few years, but despite the reports of supply shortages, these figures show us that the market is on its path to recovery through the price though the pricing still remains sky high as for vendor specific market share both nvidia and amd have a gpu market share of 19 percent while intel still rocks ahead with its 62 percent market share thanks to its integrated graphics if we look at the discrete graphics market share amd saw a slight increase to 19 percent 17 percent last quarter while nvidia dropped down a bit to 80 1% from the 83% seen last quarter. It is reported that NVIDIA AMP here currently only accounts for 15% of the gaming user base according to Steam's hardware survey, so there's a lot of room for growth when prices fall down. With that said, these figures only cover pre-Alder Lake and Ryzen 6000 notebooks, so the first two quarters of 2022 can see more improved GPU sales figures from all vendors. It also definitely seems pretty clear that a lot of the Ampere sales are going to, of course, cryptocurrency miners. I think this has been a known uh, from the, the, the launch of Ampere because it pretty much launched right at the beginning of this cycle and we'll have to see how this plays out in the future especially with nvidia's choice to basically ramp up the amount of power requirements for the next generation of basically ada lovelace which is going to essentially require up to 
and something like 850 watts for a single GPU at the top end. And that's going to make it very difficult for cryptocurrency miners and, of course, gamers alike to even power these GPUs, seeing that the only power supplies available only have a single PCIe Gen 5 16 pin adapter currently uh, planned. And so we'll have to see kind of how this plays out. Obviously, what you expect from NVIDIA is to launch the, the 4080, the 80s and the 70s first. Those should take a single. And then, of course, we may see power supplies above that. What will be really curious is the power supply requirements and the increase in cost just to even build a PC with NVIDIA GPUs. I think the path of AMD moving towards more power efficiency and traditional rasterization is going to be more beneficial for them in the short term and even possibly, of course, the long run here. I do see a resurgence of AMD GPUs within the gaming market and depending on what they do with their memory, uh, it could still also show benefits on the mining side. Of course, the projections for the new Intel Arc series GPUs are the most exciting from a power to hash rate perspective as they are sub 35 watts with a 128 bit bus, meaning there is potential there for 30 mega hash a second at sub 35 watts per GPU. And that's something I'm keeping an eye on. And as we get more confirmation, of course, we will have that shown on this channel. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when we get that new news. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.